right now. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Beth Farnsworth. And I'm CJ Ward. We begin at 6 o'clock with the beginning of another school year at Santa Barbara City College. And News Channel's John Palmentary was on campus today for the first classes. And John, you met some really excited students. Yeah, it was really busy here at Santa Barbara City College earlier today. It's quieting down. And you know, whether they are right out of high school or reshaping their careers for the future, Santa Barbara City College has been quite the stepping stone for so many people in the community. And so we try to do as best as we can to help them out. With just over 11,400 students starting the new school year, Santa Barbara City College is still enrolling students of all ages during the first week of school and the numbers will go up. They dipped during the COVID years and they're coming back. Santa Barbara is slowly bringing a lot more students back, so we're starting to get that new day energy. With a new president comes a message for first year students or returning students working on a vocational change. 50% of the California Community College mission is economic and workforce development and job training. And so, especially as you think about how much the job market is changing, whether it's with AI or various technologies or some new companies coming into town, some leaving, whatever the case is, that's why people come to us. While this day can be intimidating, most students took it in stride. On the first day, I'm a little nervous, right? But, um, you know, I think I'll get through it as the time goes on. One of the themes we're hearing from the students is when they're looking for career or educational guidance, they are finding the right place to go on the campus and they are getting it. There are a lot of resources. A lot of my teachers have been helpful. They seem very prepared for everything and they've been so supportive. All the counselors are supportive and like they have so many good services. So I'm just really excited. Students from local high schools also benefit from funds in the Promise program. That gives them free books and tuition for two years. It's been really good. I really like it. It's really useful and helpful for like students that can't afford school. It saves a lot of time. It saves a lot of money. I think I can do more things here than I could at like another university. And that gives them hope to fulfill their dreams. Transfer out, maybe UCLA, Berkeley, and then hopefully just keep a good GPA. Because you see how important it is. You see what a difference it will make in what job you get to have for the rest of your life. And from community meetings, in addition to having an excellence in academics. Above all, while we're focused on student success, what we also have to do is remember diversity, equity, inclusion, accessibility, and anti-racism are really that guiding North Star for this college. And the California Community College system is always getting high marks for its affordability. Right now, the students that are taking courses here are doing it at just $46 a unit. Reporting live outside of Santa Barbara City College this evening, I'm News Channel reporter John Palmentary. I want to check in now with our chief forecaster, Annika Abbott. We know it's really warm, but Mother Nature could not have delivered a more 